Today I got a video for you guys talking uh, Crawford Porter, e ESPN Plus app, pay-per-view. Uh, this is a big fight. 147-pound um, WBO title on the line. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it, you know. And in my opinion, this fight right now, um, you know, is two Hall of Famers going at it. Because Terrence Crawford's a Hall of Famer already. He's already been, he's been in it for a while now. I think uh, Sean Porter 100% will. I mean, I think Terrence Crawford will be a little higher on the totem pole. But nonetheless, you know, these are two Hall of Famers going at it, you know, in a sold out arena um, in Las Vegas, uh, you know, with millions of people watching, you know, on pay-per-view, whatnot. So it's just like, uh, I'm looking forward to this, okay? This is my second video. I rarely do two videos. I did a video on Plant and Canelo because, you know, it was that big. This is just as big as Plant and Canelo, you know. Um, so I guess, where do we start? Hmm. Okay, so I watched the, the press conference. I guess maybe I could talk about that. But what I was actually going to do my analysis on for this video, just talking some random shit, was the Blood, Sweat, and Tears episodes. I watched them a few nights ago. Okay, so... The things um, that I learned, um, you know, it's a good series, top rank YouTube. But the things um, I really took away from it, from both guys is, um, we'll first start with uh, Crawford. <clears throat> okay, so, I've done videos on Terrence Crawford, um, how he switches stances and how it helps with muscular imbalances, yada, yada, yada. And that's why I kind of, like, guys that... Um, that I like Kikande, Kikande Miserara and other guys that I've, I talk to, um, I always tell them to switch stances because I just, I think that's the fighter of the future. But nonetheless, um, that's not even, that's here nor there actually. Jesus Christ, I'm going off to a fucking tangent. What I noticed about Crawford that many fighters don't have, and sometimes many fighters can't have this because they don't have the fucking body mechanics, okay? Crawford has long arms. He's lengthier than people think at 147 pounds. He can go up. But more, most importantly, he's got all these knockouts lately because he's added some extra weight since he moved up from 140. But what I didn't... What was new to me is when he, Crawford hits somebody, he hits him with all his weight and his hips into it, okay? So he hits, he hits him at the end of his punch... Everything's going, his hips are going, his legs are going, his toes going that way. And it's just the perfect shot. Crawford throws the perfect shot for knocking somebody out. 100%. He has great punch placement. He knows where, where to hit a motherfucker at. You know, but more importantly, you know, when he goes for the kill, he has the most beautiful shots I've ever seen any fighter have. Like, Sean Porter might fucking figure that out Saturday night. And that's what I'm trying to tell people. The The biggest thing that I watched from watching that series, because they did like the close HD, like it was in the ring when he was knocking people out, his past opponents, from Horn to uh, Kell Brook, is he has the perfect leverages on his shot. And yes, it's coach because he has a great team. And that's actually something that I, I made a, had another theory about. But since I'm coaching again December 3rd to December 10th, you know, my first camp for like three and a half years, it's going to be on this YouTube channel. It's going to be a big deal who I'm training. I can't talk about because I got to steal it from their camp now. I got to steal what they're doing. I just figured it out. But no, his leverages are great. And uh, I mean, he's he's a knockout artist, guys. He can go to 60. He, he can go to 54. He can fight Charlo. He can go to 60. He can fight Charlo. I think Canelo's going up to Cruiser. At 190, because he don't want that smoke. Because Crawford could jump right up now to 168, and I think he he uh, he beats Canelo. I'm just saying it. That's the dream matchup I want. But whatever, fuck it. That's the first thing. I, his leverage is. It completely changed the way I think about throwing a punch. How he comes down, you know, when he's going for the kill. Okay, it's a thing of beauty. Go watch his fights, and then you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. So we, I got that out of the way. My second point with Crawford, what I like, is um, 
you know, he ain't up all up in the videos. He ain't dancing. If you got anybody fucking can figure that out, then you, I guess you know my age. But uh, when rap was good, I mean, now it's just fucking shit. But nonetheless, um, Crawford is, uh, when he talks about, like, I don't need to, like, I don't need to have this bling on. Crawford has his own brand. Crawford has could Crawford could retire tomorrow. He's got enough money in his bank account to survive. You know what I'm saying? He's got a he's done very well. So it's not about the money to him. The fame's already there. You know, you see a lot of guys they wear chains. They got to compensate for shit. You know what I'm saying? This guy doesn't. Okay. And what I noticed when he said um, he was just talking about like I'll just take him to the back. Like, he, he talked about fighting Sean Porter. He said, I don't need to be in the camera. We can go fight in the back right now. We can go fight in the garage. We can go fight in the, uh, you know, behind the house. It don't matter. Let's go, motherfucker. And for, for to be a pound-for-pound pound great Hall of Famer, which he will be, possibly one of the best pound-for-pound pound greats of all time, that's the attitude you have to have. You have to fucking be like, fuck you. It's not about the money. It's not about this. It's not about that. It's me beating the shit out of you. And that's it. And that's that. I'm telling you, the best fighters in the world are the meanest motherfuckers out there. Okay? Because when I was watching the, the, the press conference today, hold on. When I was watching the press conference today, it was, uh, it was, a, thing, it was a thing of beauty. Because what I saw is Sean Porter being happy. And uh, I saw Sean Porter being happy. And... Um, you know, I saw Terrence Crawford just staring down his motherfucking soul. Like, I'm about to fuck this dude up right now, you know? So that's what I'm saying. I think, uh, I think, um, the mean strength that Terrence Crawford has, that is why he's pound, number one pound for pound right now. And I think Canelo's like that, too. I, I think Canelo, you know, Canelo, everybody, I'm not... All the Mexicans came at me a couple weeks ago when I did the Caleb Plant Canelo video. I, I got it. Canelo's tough, guys. He's got a mean streak. He's a hardcore dude, but he's not like Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford's cut from a different breed, okay? Um, you know, he's got the anger, but he's also, he's got the discipline where, yeah, what is he, 33, 34? He's, and he's peaking. He's not even at his prime right now. I'm telling you right now. He's probably going to retire in a few years because he's got a shit ton of money and, you know, he's got kids wrestling and shit like that. But what I'm saying is he is, um, he's always in the gym. He's not, he's not fucking off. When fighters at 33, 34, how he trains and how, how he does it, I mean, it needs to be studied. Coaches need to study this shit. Fighters need to study this shit and be like, oh, I need to do what that guy's doing. I don't need to be at the club. I don't need to be getting fights with my girl. I don't need to be doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, he's doing it completely right. So he's completely, he's peaking for this time in his career. Okay? He is, um, he's on another level. I think this is the best Terrence Crawford you've ever seen. I saw him when he was like shadow boxing in the pool. I saw him when he was lifting weights. I saw him just, you know, doing the mitts with Bomac, like in the, you know, the mitts with his other coaches. Um, you know, he's only going to get better from here. But people that keep on saying Spence is trying to age Crawford out, nah, homie, it's the other way around. If I was Spence, I'd be going after Crawford's ass right now because Spence is not as disciplined as Crawford and, you know, Crawford will age Spence out before Spence ages Crawford out. I'm just saying. So, okay, so that's my thing on Terrence Crawford. There you go. All right, so now let's talk about Sean Porter. Sean Porter, Hall of Famer, 100%. 100%. Kenny Porter, you know, Hall of Fame trainer. Nothing negative towards them, but Sean Porter, Sean Porter's going to fight. Sean Porter's going to possibly get knocked down, but he's going to fucking get his ass right back up, and he might get knocked down again. And he's going to get up. Um, and he's going to fight hard. He's going to put pressure on Crawford. He's going to go to the body. He's going to go to the head. He's going to go forward on him. You know, he's going to try to push him towards the ropes. I just think it's a bad idea. But he it's his only chance to win. Because he can't box on the outside with Crawford. That's not going to get him. And when he comes on the inside, watch out 
for Crawford's right hooks, straight left hands if he's in southpaw. And then if he comes, you know, and he fights him in orthodox, I mean, you could see some right uppercuts, left hooks there. I mean, um, it's going to be a little brawl. There's going to be times where these motherfuckers are brawling because Crawford's not going to back down. And that's what Porter wants, okay? Uh, Sean Porter, Sean Porter's going to do what he always does. He comes in shape and he fights, okay? He's had a few lackluster performances. One that I really think is, um, was, uh, you know, Kell Brook. And I was going for Porter hardcore that fight. And I, I like Sean Porter. I just don't think his style of his being the aggressor is going to um, be enough for him to win this fight. I think he's going to get beat badly. And that's it. I can't give any good points on what Porter's going to do. I mean, he's coming in in shape. He's a professional. Young fighters need to study every fucking thing him and his dad do, okay? Because they do it right. But unfortunately, they're just running into the wrong guy at the wrong time. And this is going to be ugly. You're going to see why Terrence Crawford's the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. 100%, okay? So, um, yeah, that's my video. You know, uh, it is what it is. I like Crawford. Um, I like what he's doing. And uh, hopefully he gets Spence next or just goes wins belts at other weight classes. You know what I'm saying? So that's my video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And we got the fights coming fucking Saturday. Let's get it.